Good focus, please. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, uh, it's Monday morning, and today I decided I wanted to do a full day of eating today um, because it's been a, a very requested video, and I feel like it's necessary, and I want to take you guys through my last four and a half years, pretty much what my life has been like. So yeah, today we're gonna do a full day of eating. I'm gonna show you all my meals, all my stuff. I'm gonna explain to you why, and the first one is oatmeal. Now, there's one thing different today, since we I don't think we have frozen fruits. So, it's just gonna be oatmeal with milk and honey. So, uh, honey. So, the first thing we're gonna do is take a food skill, and I feel like having a food skill is uh, a big thing. It can be very nice to have. But on the other side, when you're just starting out, I feel like you don't really need to just weigh everything. When you when you look at the details too much at the beginning, I feel like you're gonna overdo it. There's not gonna be a lot of fun in doing everything at the same time. I'm always a big uh, believer in taking small steps and starting off easy and relaxed, you know? Just start off with eating, correct? Just start off with like eating better or like making sure you don't drink any soda anymore or make sure you drink enough water and then small steps like that uh, will help you um, progress over time. When you do everything at the same time, I feel like you can do that if you're strong enough to do that. But what I do see with a lot of people that just start out is that they give up too soon because it's so much, it's so much work. Like you go from zero to 100 real quick. Like, like that's pretty much what you do. Um, so I would say is if you are just starting out, and I know I know a lot of you guys haven't been lifting for a while or are literally just starting out, just take it really easy. But uh, I just wait. I did. I didn't even show you. Um, I weighed 40 grams of oatmeal. I am not a very big eater. I personally am not a very big eater. Um, I can't really eat too much in one portion at one time. I can eat very often though. So. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys through the whole day, um, but we're starting off with some complex carbs, as they say it. There's a difference between like, let's say, let's say white bread and brown bread as an example, or whole grain bread. Let's do whole grain bread and white bread. Whole grain bread is um, a complex carb. It's a, it's a carbohydrate, an energy source that your body takes in slower than, for example, white bread, which um, for like a quick sugar, uh, you obviously drink or eat some candy or like it's fast energy, you know. Um, but a complex carb like whole grain bread or oatmeal is something that you your body takes in slower during the day, so it gives you uh, an energy expansion. So what they call it, energy expansion throughout the day, something like that. But uh, it pretty much gives you energy slower throughout the day, so that's why. I feel like it's a good way to start off with oats in the morning since it's a very solid breakfast. Um, usually I add some fruits for some flavor, but right now we're out of fruit, so um, we could just add some honey and maybe some cinnamon, and then we're gonna just eat that, and that's gonna be meal number one. Fairly easy, right? Second thing I wanna show you guys is this, this masterpiece right here. This is a half a gallon jug, which is 2.2 liters. Um, I'm making sure always, or at least I'm trying to do always, is drink at least one of these half a gallons before I hit the gym. So, um, usually I hit the gym around 3 o'clock, maybe just a little bit before that, it depends on how, you know, how I wake up. Um, but, um, so this should be, like, I, I pretty much have like two and a half hours to three and a half hours to drink this, which would be very, very easy. Um, you just sip on it. I lost the cap, I think. So that's a problem. But um, hopefully I can find it. Um, but yeah, guys, if you didn't know already, hold on. Uh, if you didn't know already, your muscle is 70% water. So when you drink enough water, you're gonna look bigger, more full. Um, because your, your body obviously um, is gonna hold it your muscle fiber, your muscle tissue is 70% water. Your brain is like 85% water, and your, your well, or whole body is like 65% water. Water is the key to life. Big thing is when you, when people feel tired, usually it's not because of sleep. 
Usually it's because they are dehydrated. They're not drinking enough water. So make sure you get one of those half a gallon jugs from obviously they have to get some Gymshark. You know, that's uh, number one key. Um, Gymshark jugs like 50% better. No, I'm kidding. But you can get those jugs in the link down below. I, I have it. Um, Gymshark has it on their website. So you can go there and uh, cop one of those. It's good. Now let's just eat this breakfast. I've had this for so many times, it's getting boring, but we're gonna just do it, okay? Finished our oats, nice and clean. It is 10.55 and uh, I'm gonna shower, get ready, and then uh, we'll hit the store to get some product. Um, sounds like a cocaine deal or something. I also have a package. I think this is the new G, uh, G Fuel flavored cherry limeade. I missed the bell, so I gotta pick it up somewhere, you know? Kinda sucks, kinda have to do it, you know? But it's fine. New flavor, I'll let you know how it tastes. Alright, we just got out of the shower. We did the hair thing. Um, this is the hair gel that I use, by the way. I got questions. It's um, L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Paris. Studio line, Madame Messi number eight. Um, yeah, that's what I use. So uh, now we're going to go to the grocery store, pick up some food. We are eating um, 1 30. My friend's going to be here. I'm going to make some rice and chicken. Uh, but now I just, I'm already hungry again. So. I need to uh, pick up something else. So that's a bit. Meal number two is an easy one. It is 12 o'clock right now. <clears throat> All right, so the reason why I eat this so often, I eat this salad really often. One, it's quick. Two, it's easy. <laughs> uh, and three, it's pretty well for, um, it's pretty well um, macro-wise. Obviously, I follow. Uh, I do not track macros as, like, on every gram as much as I used to. But I do obviously check the labels, and this is the a thing that you really have to do: check your labels, uh, because you definitely don't know what you're eating until you check your labels. Uh, because a healthy salad can have 14 grams of fats if you are um, not paying attention. So I have a lot of people like. Especially women, for 14 fat for women is obviously, women don't need as much calories in general as a man do, in most cases, in general. Sometimes for a salad, if, if, someone, if, a, if someone is like, oh, uh, let me do healthy, let me eat a salad, and then it's like 14 grams of fat, it can be like a lot. So this could be, for a woman, this could well be 30% uh, of her fats for the day, which is perfect if you know that. Uh, but if you don't, it can really catch up to you. So uh, but it's 14 grams of fats, it's 50 grams of carbs, and it's 30 grams of protein. So um, really good, solid meal here. And um, <clears throat> as I said, my friend's coming over. We're going to eat some rice and chicken. Also got this fruit juice. Um, I do like to get some um, vitamins in. Uh, I do eat a lot of fruit, but um, this one is just, it just tastes very well. Bathroom is almost done. One more day and then it's fully usable. So I'm really happy. But this is probably where all the fats come in. So if you leave this out, it's uneatable. But it's um, less fat. <laughs> okay, so Kun is here. You know Kun from the Portugal trip. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to face the camera, but he will. But um, he, they need paper. Hell yeah! So uh, we here, and we are Oops. making. What are you looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Olive oil. This one. Um, so we are having our pre-workout meal. We're having some chicken, some rice, some whole grain rice. Again, complex carbs, and then um, the rice is cooking right here. And also, because my friend Kun is a very healthy gentleman, you know, he wants to add some vegetables, which is obviously very important, but I neglect it sometimes. But yeah, very easy meal, very dope and nice. And then after we're gonna hit a chest workout and uh, we're already very excited. <laughs> okay, cool. So it's gonna be one cup of rice right here. Then we have uh, each 100 grams of chicken, which is not too much, but it's enough. And then we have a lot of fucking vegetables, like a lot. This is the greatest meal of all time, pretty much. Next time we're gonna make it with um, burgers. 
because it's that's definitely very nice as well. So we're gonna enjoy this now. It's almost two o'clock, and um, hopefully we can we can go to the gym at like two thirty ish, and then uh, hit a push workout or like chest. As I said, this is a full day of eating, so no training footage, just full day of eating. So after training, we are eating some. Whoa. We're eating some shikir, as always, as you know. Boom, 47 grams of fucking protein. Here we go, boy. And that will be our last meal before dinner. And then after dinner, we'll see what else comes our way into our belly. 5.45 and dinner is cooking up. We're eating this thing called nasi. And um, it's like rice with pork and a lot of other stuff. Uh, a lot of vegetables as well, but that's what we're having for dinner today. I don't know the exact calories or exact macros for this since I did not make it myself, but it's a very healthy, clean meal and um, it's very enjoyable. So um, if you live at home, which I assume a lot of you guys do live at home, make sure you plan your macros around dinner. So you make sure to at least hitting your macros and then you can eat for dinner, whatever you want. If you're bulking, if you're cutting, it's a little bit more strict, but if you want to bulk, then uh, just count your macros, make sure you hit your macros before dinner and then uh, have your dinner. So make sure to have always have enough. Haven't tried the cherry. Did I actually show you guys already? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, haven't tried it yet. Gonna try in um, after dinner because I'm really excited how I try. I think this is gonna be my favorite flavor ever. And it's also sensors flavor if you didn't know, face sensor. So cherry sensation, you know. All right guys, so it is um, 9.30 right now and this is the first thing that we're eating after dinner. Uh, I'm making a fruit smoothie. Now usually I would um, make a protein smoothie, but I pretty much ran out of protein powder to use. So we're gonna make one without. So it's a very easy recipe and I've done it before on my channel. So if you are watching for a long time, you know what it is. But it's pretty much some oats, not too much because we don't want it to be too thick. Then some frozen strawberries, a bunch of them. And then one whole banana and then some milk. And that's pretty much it. And then obviously when you have the protein powder, you add protein powder to it. Which is obviously better because we gotta need that protein because we wanna build some muscle. So, um, but yeah, we don't have that. Well, I don't have that right now, which definitely sucks. But I would recommend a vanilla protein powder or a strawberry one um, with this particular shake. So if you have a Nutribullet or something like that, uh, it's very fast to make. All right, so this is it. Those two, I'm only gonna drink one. The other one is for someone else that is also here, but I won't show her. her. Oh, I did say something. Uh oh, uh, but um, that's hers. That's mine. Uh, it's a full glass, so we're gonna enjoy this. And um, yeah, very healthy, a lot of vitamins, great taste. And um, when you have protein, it's also a great protein shake. All right, guys, um, it's almost one o'clock in the AM. Obviously, it's night. I'm having the last meal of the day, which I, um, I usually, well, I always have my protein yogurt, which is this whole tub right here, is about 50 grams of protein. So we had that in the afternoon, which is like 45, and this is 50, so almost 100 grams of protein just by those two things, which is a lot, obviously. And then we're gonna have peanut butter sandwiches. And what I do is because I have trouble getting in my fats during the day because I don't really like the fat, the, the, the things where there's a lot of fat in it. Um, except for peanut butter, so I have Skippy, Skippy peanut butter. Um, it's, in my opinion, the best one. The creamy one, not the one with uh, the pieces in it. But I do it extra thick, so I make sure I have at least one tablespoon of peanut butter on each sandwich. And then, um, well, I think it's like per 100 grams, it's 51 fat. So that should be, one tablespoon is around 15 grams, or a little bit less, so let's say 10 which would be five grams of fat each. So that would be 10 grams of fat. And then, um, yeah, that will be the last meal of the day. I'm gonna go to sleep now. And um, tomorrow I will try the cherry lemonade because I haven't tried it yet. So I'll do that tomorrow. But again, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I eat during the day. I hope you find it insightful. And um, if you did, please leave a like on the video and uh, leave me some comments down below what you think. And I'll talk to you later.